So to find the domain for these functions, so first of all, we know that we cannot square root a negative number. So therefore, we know that inside here must be greater or equal to zero. So let me just write this down. So that means x squared minus one must be greater or equal to zero because we can square root a zero, right? But we cannot square root a negative number. But then if we have x squared minus one equal to zero, that means the denominator here is zero. So we cannot divide by zero because one divided by square root of x squared minus one. So therefore, we cannot have zero. So we remove this. So x squared minus one must greater than zero. So let me just quickly solve this. So we know that x squared is like this. But minus one, we just move down one unit. So this is one, this is negative one. That is the x intercept. So therefore, these are greater than zero. So this means that the answer should be from this onward. So that is from negative infinity to negative one, excluding, okay? And this part here is from one onward. So that means union from one to infinity and excluding, okay? Because you can't have one, okay? If you have one, the denominator zero, you cannot divide by zero. So the answer should be B. There you go.